Let us solve a question on production function. The question is, suppose that a firm produces and sells a product at a price of $10 in a perfectly competitive market. If the production function is given by Q is equal to K raised power 0.5 times E raised power 0.5, where K denotes the units of capital, E denotes the units of labor. If capital is fixed at K is equal to 400 in the short run, we need to find out how much labor should a firm hire to maximize profit when the wage rate is being given as is $2. Also, we have to show that wage bill in this firm should equal to 50% of the total revenue. Okay, and next part is if wage rate increases to $5, what is firm's hiring decision? We need to also analyze that very stuff here. So first thing is first what we are being given. We are being given the price of the product is $10. Also production function is k times 0.5 e raised power 0.5 okay this is the standard cop douglas production function also uh, in the first part we are being told that capital is fixed at 400 and we need to find out the sh what will happen in the short run okay so uh, you know to maximize profit so for that what will we do in the short run and let me write it here in short run uh, profit maximizing decision of a firm will require that he equates the marginal revenue product with the wage rate and also we are being told that wage rate is being given as is two dollar that means for we need to find out the marginal revenue product here to find out the marginal revenue product First, we need to find out the total revenue product. So we know that total revenue is equal to price into output, which is equal to price is being given as just 12, sorry, 10 times in place of K, K is fixed as 400. So I can write it here, 400. And in place of this 0.5, I can write it in this fashion. Okay, times E raised power, 0 0.5 let's write it here like this e so p into q that is p is the price q is this very stuff so solving so 400 it is square is 20 so 20 into or oh, let's write it here 10 into so under root 400 is actually equal to 20 square square root gets cancelled we are left with 20 so i write it here 20 under root e this gives us 200 under root e as the total revenue okay now what is then the marginal revenue product and we can write it in this fashion 200 e raised power 1 upon 2 so marginal revenue product is the derivative of the total revenue product with respect to this time e okay so taking the partial of rather taking the derivative of this function with respect to e so the derivative of e raised power 1 upon 2 by power function rule it will become coefficient 1 upon 2 becomes coefficient then we have 200 and the exponent of e is subtracted by 1 so 1 upon 2 minus 1 is uh, minus 1 upon 2 that gives us uh, 200 upon 2 is 100 uh, e raised power minus 1 upon 2 can be written as e raised power 1 upon 2. If I transpose it to the denominator, exponent sign will change. Okay, this is our marginal revenue product. Marginal revenue product. Now, profit maximizing, profit maximizing requires that we equate marginal revenue product with the wage rate. Marginal revenue product is 100 e raised power 1 upon 2 and wage rate is being given as is $2. So solving this, so cross multiplying, we will get e raised power 1 upon 2 times 2 is equal to 100 or e raised power 1 upon 2 is equal to, transposing this it will get divided 100 upon 2 is 50. So e will be equal to, if I transpose exponent, exponent, it will become exponent but in reciprocal order. If it is 1 upon 2, it will become a 2 upon 1. So e will be equal to 50 square here. So, E will be equal to 2500, okay? 
so number of laborers employed by the firm will be equal to 2500 next thing is um, we have to show that the wage bill in this form should equal to the 50% of the total revenue and what is the total revenue in this case so let's find out total revenue is equal to price into output so first we need to find out the output okay output uh, will be equal to so q will be equal to so e is equal to 2500 k is being given us so k is fixed as 400 e is equal to 2500 so this becomes total output will be equal to 20 into 50 so 5 to the 10 it becomes 10000 5 to the 10 Okay. If it is one thousand, so one, two, and three. So one thousand is the total output. That total revenue, as we know, is equal to price into Q. So P is being given as ten, and Q we got is one thousand. It becomes ten thousand. This is our total revenue. Now we need to find out. So total revenue is equal to ten thousand, and we need to find out the wage bill. What is the wage bill? So total wage bill will be equal to wage bill. Wage bill will be equal to uh, you know wage rate times units of uh, you know labourers employed. So wage rate is being given as is two dollar, and units of labour employed we got is twenty five hundred. Which is equal to five thousand. Now you can see here that wage bill, wage bill, is equal to five uh, thousand, and total revenue, total revenue, is equal to ten thousand. And here you can analyze it that wage bill is you know fifty percent of the total revenue. Next uh, question is and. I'm not sure if I can write it here. So for that, let me write this. And the question says, if wage rate increases to five dollar, what is firm's hiring decision? Again, what will we do? We equate marginal revenue product with the wage rate. Okay, marginal revenue product we got equal to hundred upon e raised to power one upon two, and we equate it with the new wage rate, which is five dollar. So doing the cross multiplication, so one upon two. Time is five is equal to hundred. So e raised to power one upon two will become hundred upon five, which is twenty. So e will be equal to twenty uh, square, which is e will be equal to four hundred. If wage rates wage rate increases to five dollar, the firm will hire only four hundred laborers. Okay, or labor hours. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.